What's going on guys? Welcome back to Behind the Lights. Ty and I are here to show you our latest purchase during quarantine, our RV. Guys, I have no idea how we did this. We literally like... You didn't take courses or anything. We did zero research on these things, zero. like none. And no. I normally spend like months and months, if not years, before like pulling the trigger on any little small thing. We never even drove an RV. Ty drove nothing bigger than his truck. Yeah, you guys have no idea how hard it is to drive an RV. It's incredible. It is unbelievable how hard this thing is. Getting back to why, I think we should tell them kind of like why. Yeah, let's get into it. Why we did this. Sam, I'm gonna just, you correct me if I'm wrong because I'm gonna speak for you on this one. But like Sam was having, um, she was going over some business stuff and I just felt like she was having like a tough time. Uh, I thought she was stressed. I was kind of, you know, everyone's stressed right now in Corona. There's so many things going on. People are freaking out. And I just was kind of tired of the daily, um, you know. Apartment life. The daily apartment life and that's, for me, it just was a personal choice. It wasn't anything knocking that life. I just, I've been in apartments for eight years in the minor leagues. And for me, I was I was tired of moving it. I mean, yeah. he couldn't help me. He had to go to the field or go on the road. So I had to move by myself out of these apartments every time. And I was just like over it, like done. And we both love to travel. Yeah. Well, anyway, so I'm talking to Sam and I'm like, like, I was like, you and I just need like, we need to change. We need a lifestyle change. We need to embrace this world and this life a little bit more. We need to get out. We need to do things and see things. And I'm like, we can do that. We literally just got to get this RV. Like we got to do it. I mean, is that, is that kind of yeah, how so it went we, down? We just didn't think about it because we knew if the more that we thought about it logically, the more yeah. we back out. I knew this is something like I was hands down in for like we've never even had a space of our own like just to even keep all my stuff that I love like as stupid as it is my candles like they have their own place now mm -hmm. so I, we were just all in and just said screw it and I mean you know I never thought that this was an option almost you wouldn't think that these are as, as affordable as what they are and you know you just cut corners elsewhere to make it work and we just did yeah we just we had a budget a little and bit. we're we had to look at some stuff and we love it loving it yeah love I it. love it we're definitely the youngest in the RV parks by at least like 25 years for sure we've seen a few other people one, our age one other millennial couple and we were yeah. like millennial yeah like it was it was honestly like we need you like I'm telling you guys right now Buy an RV, be our friends. buy a van, and come hang out because we, be need, our some, neighbors. we need some friends. Because <laughs> no, I'm just I'm just kidding. But seriously, it is a really really cool lifestyle. It's fun, and honestly, we we wake up every single day being like, I like relax. Yeah, like I thought we would buy this, and we wake up and be like, what what did we just do? Mm -hmm. And every day I tell Sam, I'm like, I literally wake up excited about the next day. Mm -hmm. But once I saw this little 12 foot area of space, I'm like, Sam, this could be something really cool that you do for behind the lights. You can do a pop-up interview, you can do something. I can do my workouts if we're traveling on the road. And it's just a basically a big multi-purpose room. That's all it is. Now time for my favorite part. This is the outdoor little patio area. Um, I like to keep it neat and clean, but sometimes Ty has to work out, so his equipment gets you know, everywhere. We got two little lawn chairs. This black table actually turns into a fire pit and a grill. Mm -hmm. I haven't used it yet, so it's TBD. But everybody around here uses them. Um, I actually had to do some landscaping. I had to pull out all these weeds, right? It took me like a whole day yeah. to zip tie this bamboo stuff that came here back to the fence so that then I could zip tie shelves to a bamboo wall. Yep very dramatic for my decor but I love it um, the lights were a necessity for nighttime they're really fun got a little table in case we want to eat outside a pointless shelf that's just for decor it's a must and then I had to zip tie the lattice and do some landscaping over there too to give us a little bit of privacy from the neighbors and then this table here another pointless table of decor City hose gets you the city water. 
Yeah, that hose gets fed into. That's going to be that's going to be your water, and that's going to be uh, shower, um, your faucets, everything. Sink. And that water all gets deposited into the gray tank. They call it. Um, the gray tank brings me over to my next little fun thing I do about every three days. It's kind of gross, but that's called the sewage hose. Sewage sewage hose. As I'm sure you guys can imagine what that's for. Um, basically what happens is you see they're both plugged into the same exact spot of the RV. I go under there, uh, preferably with this not out, usually this is in, and I'll just kind of open up the nozzle and we open that. I pull the black tank. The black tank is the waste tank. Um, you guys had lovely experiences. We'll just leave it at that. Yeah. And we have two gas tanks, yeah, one for emergency, Generator is right here. It's under this one. And that basically, as Sam said, dry camping, for anyone that doesn't know what dry camping is, I say that because I didn't know what dry camping is. You dry camping. plug in, do any power. Yeah, you literally just run off the generator, you go in the middle of the woods for a week and you don't talk to anybody and you just camp and have fun. Well, good job, because I learned something. Pretty much all that you got on that side. That's kind of the maintenance. That's where, that's where a lot of your problems, first time, first time people, that's like, yeah, that, good luck. All right, so we'll start with this spot, right? This is the captain's, what are they called? Captain seats. Captain seats, and this is where Ty drives. I, Ty drove the whole way across the country. I didn't do squat. This is my workstation though, this is my office. Yep. Um, also the cat's lounging spot. It's a very practical spot as we get a lot in here. But one thing that's wrong with these seats is Ty forgot to move the chair before we brought this bed down, and now it shakes. I was pushing, bringing in the, uh, pop out. the pop out, and it just stopped moving. I'm like, why, why is it not and moving? I look, and I the look at the seat, and the way. seat's like this. And so on our 45 hour drive across the country, every single time I'd take a right turn, I'd hit a pothole, I literally would just like, my whole body would just kind of like bounce. And so I I told him it was just a core workout. We're now into our living space. We don't have to take any steps. Yeah. This pretty, is our couch. Uh, this converts into a bed. So yeah, this comes out. I haven't out. tried that yet. This comes into a uh, slide out bed. Our one cat likes to hide behind there. I think she's there now. As soon as everything gets, we start driving around, she like tucks herself right behind this little cushion back there. You can't really see. Also, Ty tried to clean one day and he bleached the couch, so. Sam's just saying that because she's worried that the audience thinks that there's, you guys can see uh, bleach on the couch, which no one can, but now you just made it clear to everyone that I bleached okay. the couch. Let's calm down. We have our dining table dinette. right here. That's what's called dinette. Mm -hmm. Nice little TV, haven't used it yet. We have our shades, blinds. Um, we'll be reupholstering, yeah. painting. Sam, Sam said earlier, you guys, but this is where she sleeps. This uh, whole little thing. You can see off. it's tilted, it's broken right now. We need to get that get fixed. Gotta get it fixed on Monday. So Sam, I'm not even kidding. Sam literally sleeps on a slant like this. Mm -hmm. I mean, is your back like wrecked every single day? Yep. Yeah. But he's too big. We don't have a king bed, so I can't sleep in the same bed. We'll so. show you guys the master bedroom here in a second. Yeah. As our bed goes back up. So it barely goes back up. And we'll take you into the kitchen, which is also right here. It's pretty difficult to cook in because it gets dirty really quick. Yeah, like so we've been doing a lot of healthy takeout. A lot of healthy or takeout. Uber Eats, I should say. Honestly, this is a really good, I like this a lot though, because this whole lifestyle makes me be organized. It makes me be clean. Something that a lot of people that don't know me, I'm known for kind of being unorganized. I kind of scatter minded a little bit. So um, we'll get into this part later, but this is kind of like this Organization kitchen. Organization is yeah, key this in is like, RV. You, this is such a small little area. And if there's Silverware. I mean, you gotta you gotta clean something. You gotta put away immediately, and I like it so far. So. So it's the kitchen. The kitchen. Should we no show? No oven. We have a convection oven though, and then we so have two burners. No convection microwave. I think it's called. It's called a convection oven. I think. Um. But it's and, a microwave too, though. Yep. Okay. <laughs> then we have two burners, a stove top. So I was trying to show you the cabinets. We have. It's not a full size fridge, but it's pretty much there. But. This you have to lock every time you move yeah. or you spill milk all over the floor like Ty did one time. You guys don't understand. This thing right here is, is the most life. important part of the RV because 
as you can see, we have a lot of stuff, a lot of food, a lot of random little gadgets and little Gadget? little things that are just, you oh, know, they fall out. That? That's embarrassing. You fall out, it's gonna go all over the floor. So probably three or four times when these pop outs, these slides come in, this is the one thing we forget to do is close this. And I have to clean while he's driving. Like I have to right. clean while. So I take off driving. Next thing you know, you hear a big loud bang. This thing flies open, it hits this door. All the food comes out flying, the milk went out and I'm driving. So I'm always like, Sam, clean it, hurry. Like I got, we got to drive. And so she's, she's always gets stuck doing like the, um, nasty work. Well, um, here's our bathroom. The rug looks gross right now. Cause there's water from Ty's wet feet. Oh my gosh. It's water. Oh my gosh. He's being a punk. So we have a little small toilet. We have a flusher that people don't figure out it's there. So about five minutes into their duty, they realize that the flusher is at the bottom after they came and asked Sam and I where the flusher is. We have uh, fake plastic grass with a little ceramic bowl that, that Sam got. That the cat's trying to. Um, a shower that fits me. I got plenty of room up there. It's about 12 feet tall, but this part, my head sticks over it. So I can clearly look out and see Sam when I'm showering. Okay. Um, PMI. We got a little cool little decor that Sam likes to put, some good decorations. And um, we have a whole entire medicine cabinet behind here, which is my stuff. So we got deodorant, um, Storage is 3D key. white. That stuff's my go to. This face lotion, it's oil free. Kiehl's, love it. <laughs> Philips Norelco One Blade, that thing is a lifesaver. Life my Sonicare broke, so I've been using the Colgate Vibrate guy. Don't know if it works. Um, the dentist will tell you. We have a little Boss. This is some of the best uh, best cologne that you can buy. Um, we got some Old Spice. We got some random little vitamins and knickknack. The vitamin cabinet was a pretty big ordeal. Um, I had to sacrifice some space for yeah, it. Yeah, Sam had it. So we got, we got our fiber. Obviously, this is all NSF approved. MLB baseball, don't come at me. Um, we have our Thorn Multivitamin A Elite AM. Try to make a habit of it because I want to make sure that my body, um, I get myself into a good routine. So I wake up every morning knowing that I'm going to feel in a pretty good mood because I did my process and I did my routine. All right, welcome to the master bedroom where we have a queen bed. That's why I have to sleep over there because Ty takes up all the room. Uh, we also have a little bit of a little coffee station if you must, but this is the espresso machine that I still haven't figured out how to work and we've had it three years, so I'm still determined to do that, but Starbucks is still my number one. Got our TV that, again, we still haven't used because we never have any cable mm -hmm. because of these RV parks, but, but this is your it, spot. This is where my feet hang off the bed every single night. This is where I sleep. This is where I wake up with a little bit of mild back pain because we're on a slant right now because our Jacks are Our broken. jacks are broken, so when I lay down, I'm kind of, because we're like slanted this way, so I'm laying on it horizontally. My right side is kind of tilted down. It's kind of hard to explain, but just trust me. The jacks are broken, guys, we need to get it fixed. The bed itself is actually very comfortable. And it's also really hard to make this bed because oh, it's, it's tucked in, in so tight. So I normally make a bed better than this, but it's lumpy because, I mean, you can't even do it. Can you? I mean, I didn't even notice it was lumpy until you pointed it out, but I guess it is a little lumpy. Yeah, we're gonna have to fix that. All right. We had to minimize a lot, you guys. Um, oh. You guys, like Sam and I, I hate to admit it, but we were kind of hoarders. Throughout all the years of minor league baseball and Sam's career and ups and downs, we've just, we really didn't realize how much stuff we had. We had enough stuff to fill a house, but with no house. Yeah, and like we it were was, moving four times a year, so we were moving basically a house. It was embarrassing. Like it just was way too much, and like we'll get into that later of why we kind of went ahead and we did get this RV. But like basically, as you guys can see, we have three drawers. This is all we have. Yeah. So for a girl, this is a big ordeal because I have to share this closet. Most girls like their own walk-in closet. I have mm -hmm. to share this mini closet with Ty. So I'm gonna. Who knows what it looks like right now? Oh, it looks great. You got you, see. Look at her. Look at her side. Her side's the right. My side's nice and organized. I was changing for these look filming. At my, look at my hats. My I hats. put these up today. You left these on the bed. Oh, did? did yeah, it? I did this. Interesting. So this is all I get 
a half a side. Um, you gotta roll with the punches. We you had know? like, honestly, this was, I think in our last apartment, your whole wall came out to like. Yeah. Oh, now he's being. Right here. Just, you're just putting on a show now. <laughs> this is actually a pretty cool part too. That's my favorite part. So this whole wall, which is the back of our RV, goes down makes a whole patio but the spot that we're in right now is a little too tight so we can't put it down so we're a little bit bummed but yeah that's my favorite part yeah it gets in so this is actually this is called if anyone that doesn't know about rvs this would be this rv would be called a class a toy hauler um, usually a toy hauler is a pull behind a fifth wheel they call it and it's where you have the room like this and you put atvs dirt bikes um, anything that's kind of dirty and grimy whatever you put it in so I call this the garage and it's literally like garage slash studio slash park movie man. room we have we movie watch room. scary movies in here that's my favorite part Candyman. she turned out the lights when you get an RV that's a there's a lot of things that happen well, and break that it just it takes some time to figure out what works and what doesn't, right? Because these things are handmade, so they say that there's a lot of like just hand errors and user errors, which Ty's made plenty. <laughs> um, plenty. So they say once you get it fixed, that you're all good. So we gotta turn this thing in on Monday just to get a couple repairs, and then we should be good to go. Right, well, thanks for watching, guys, and if you want more on our life here in the RV, we will be doing more segments on my YouTube channel of Ty teaching me his MLB workouts stay tuned. Don't forget to click the subscribe button and continue to share and we'll see you next time here on Behind the Lights.